There are several things you can do to help prolong the life of your teeth, but if you live long enough, sooner or later, there's a good chance you may need to replace your teeth. Once you've arrived at a point where a tooth cannot be saved, replacement is the only option. Typically, there are two options. Fixed restorations or a removable prosthesis. Fixed restorations include dental crowns, bridges, and implant restorations. This video will cover the removable options, different types of dentures. Denture options are straightforward. First, your dentist will need to determine if the teeth you have are healthy enough to keep. In many cases, tooth loss can be so severe that the best solution is to extract all the teeth from your mouth. A patient who lacks teeth is referred to as edentulous, and a full denture is required. Full dentures use suction to stay in place in the mouth and are made to fit around the bone ridges of your jaw. In any case, denture bases are made of acrylic and the teeth are usually added separately. The teeth are made of a similar acrylic material. We offer three manufacturing methods for full dentures at Utica Dental Lab. Traditional dentures are made with a four to five step process where a number of models and impressions are used before the final prosthesis is made with Lucitone 199 acrylic via the press pack method. Utica Dental Lab has made major upgrades to its facility over the years and also offers 3D printed digital dentures. These dentures require the same amount of in-lab time but have a different manufacturing method. Instead of building a wax try-in and final denture via press pack, a monolithic tooth color try-in is printed before the denture base and denture teeth are printed and bonded. If you'd like a more detailed comparison of the two methods, check out our Advancements in Digital Dentistry series. The link will be in the description below. The third full denture option we offer is the Ivotion Monolithic Denture. New from Ivoclar, this denture is milled from a solid piece of PMMA material. The main advantage to this denture is that the teeth and denture base are not made separately and combined, but is one monolithic unit. This should help the denture maintain its strength at what would typically be a weak point. Each denture type has pros and cons and opinions shift based on the dentist's preferences. No matter the denture type, your denture will wear over time and need periodical repairs. Occasionally, the denture will need to be replaced altogether. If you'd like additional info on full dentures, check out the previous video in this series, 5 Frequently Asked Questions About Dentures. The link is in the description below. Not all patients require an extraction of all their teeth, and in some cases, the majority of the teeth are healthy enough to remain. In these cases, only certain teeth are removed. These patients require a partial denture. There are three types of partial denture that we make at Utica Dental Lab, acrylic partials, metal partials, and flexible partials. Acrylic partials are made with an acrylic base and card teeth. Metal wires are typically added to help hold the partial in place. Like traditional full dentures, Acrylic partials are made with Lucitone 199 via the press pack method. Metal partials are also made with an acrylic base and card teeth. The main distinction here is that the metal frame is made to fit the mouth of the patient before the acrylic is formed around it. Adding a metal frame to a partial denture significantly increases the strength and longevity of the prosthesis. We print our partial frames with a DMLS 3D metal printer and add the acrylic base via press pack. The addition of a DMLS metal printer has advanced our lab considerably. Check out the video in the description for more information on how the DMLS system works. Finally, Utica Dental Lab offers flexible partial dentures. We use a TCS flexible material for the base and Arctic Teeth by Culzer for the teeth. A relatively recent invention, flexible partials are quickly growing in popularity. The flexible material is more translucent allowing a more natural look. The absence of a metal frame or wires also helps the aesthetics of the case. Added flexibility increases comfort as the denture can bend a bit more than acrylic dentures, alleviating certain pain points. Like full dentures, occasional repairs will be needed to help ensure proper fit. Always see your dentist with any concerns for an ill-fitting denture. It is important to note that losing your teeth can be a difficult hurdle to overcome. Although there are options available to help keep a sense of normalcy, no removable denture will perform like natural teeth. Your diet will likely need to be adjusted based on the number of teeth lost, and the longer you wear a denture, the more your jawbone will wear down. Dentures do need to be replaced on occasion, as bone loss continues 
bigger and bulkier dentures need to be made to accommodate. In most cases, tooth decay can be stopped before extraction is necessary. Be sure to brush and floss your teeth daily and please, see your dentist at least once a year.